All right, so good day, ladies and gentlemen, and of course, I'm Asurai from Mineski TV. Alongside here with me is Eason, and we are going to give you a full review of the MSI GS60 Ghost Pro. <laughs> about this uh, particular laptop yeah um, because right now we're, there's a growing market for gaming of course mm -hmm. so of course. a lot of people would like a laptop that's really thin at the same time still powerful yeah they're mixing the balance from you know that high amount of gaming needs that mm -hmm. you know us gamers really do require what we have here in the GS60 Ghost Pro is a 6th generation Intel Skylake processor which has a Core i7 6700HQ technically it's one of the highest in terms of Core i7 processors on the laptop 16GB of RAM GTX 970 with 3GB of RAM as well and it's DDR5 which is the beneficial factor in a gaming laptop 128GB of SSD mm -hmm. via NVMe and also one terabyte of hard disk drive. So yeah. it's 9.8 millimeters, 1.9 kilograms light. So it's really portable compared to your high-end laptops right now in the market that chunks up to five kilograms in terms of weight and then even goes up to 30 millimeters in thickness. What's good about this is 15.6 inches. Mm -hmm. and not only of that, it's 4K in resolution. So you now have the highest resolution available on the laptop. All right, so first of all, I do look at the build quality of the laptop you see here it's a brush aluminum finish but what MSI did was like it's not only just in this portion it's the whole laptop so we go now into the keyboard itself mm -hmm. so it is a five point RGB chiclet keyboard by steel series so what five point means is that from any corner of, of the keycap itself it will register Yes, MSI has collaborated with Still Series to give you an RGB keyboard. So we have it set right now for breathing, but it also has other um, effects such as wave, dual, and audio. Other casual uh, users of laptops would say, "Why is the Windows key on the right side, not on the left side?" But you know, as a gamer, I think this is a mm -hmm. pretty good feature. A software inside the laptop itself that will allow you to even disable this one and what's good about this is the feedback from the keyboards you can actually feel every touch it's more tactile compared to other keyboards and we really like the matte finish on the keyboard so aside from the keyboard we are looking here of course at the 15.6 inch display for 15.6 inches at 4k resolution the visuals of it colors are actually really good the, and the colors are alive. Viewing angles, you can see the colors in, in real accuracy. So when we tested out earlier, we can see that the colors are more vibrant. Nitpick about it is it's glare. They didn't make it as more of a matte finish. Okay, so we're now gonna talk about the touchpad of the MSI. So what do you think about this one, Ethan? Okay, so what's good about this is it's the same shape of the screen itself. So what they want to say is, if you go here from here, you travel the screen. One good factor is it's almost the same level here and they added a diamond cut finish on the sides. So technically it glides easily in the sides. So when you're doing gestures as well and doing like multiple clicks, it responds well at the same time it doesn't protrude to your fingers. Let's now go in to the ports of the laptop itself. Of course on the rightmost side is the exhaust port. So it, one is for the GPU and the other side is for the CPU. And then we have here the RJ45, a mini display port, HDMI, standard SD card port, and a USB 3.1 port. So um, what is USB 3.1 right now? Technically, USB 3.1 in the near, near future can connect in terms of visual, audio, and also charging. So its data transfer is almost three times faster than the current USB 3.0. So you can use the USB 3.1 port for, for display and audio at the same time and simultaneously use either one of the HDMI or display port. So let's go now to the left side of the MSI laptop. We do have here the other exhaust vent which allows for even more, you know, exertion of heat from the laptop which keeps the laptop cool for uh, extended periods of time. We do have here right beside it is the Kensington lock. We also have the power port and two 3.0 USB ports as well as a microphone jack and a headset jack. 
All right, so we'll talk about temperatures of the laptop now. So the laptop in idle temperature, it is around 55 Celsius, uh, degrees Celsius. Yeah, so in the laptop, dedicated MSI software, which they call Dragon Center. It's a software that tells about what's inside the laptop. What's the indicator in the temperature, in the CPU, in terms of this uh, GPU, how fast is your network right now, the hard disk in terms of um, capacity, also speed. So in just one screen, you can see all of the statistics that you need for your laptop. It's an all-in-one software that MSI has created for us, you know, an ease of access. So it's a utility tool yeah. to modify your laptop in terms of the keyboard, yes. uh, shortcut keys and everything. Um, I was playing Overwatch at uh, Epic, which mm -hmm. is... It's, a, it's around yeah. 85 degrees. It's pretty nice since like, other GPUs tend to go like 90 Considering yeah. the small form factor on the yeah. laptop. It's thin profile, so having a good cooling system gives that form factor a benefit. All right, so now we're gonna talk about how we trust this laptop in lowering the temperature. In the right side, it does have a ventilation port. Um, identically on the left side, it also has one, which allows, again, for airflow to come out of the laptop pretty mm -hmm. smoothly. From the back, two more. There's a total of four vents. So uh, MSI calls this Full Boost 3. If you can actually look in front of the laptop, this is actually an air intake grill. The speakers are actually at the bottom side and then two at the back. So there's a total of four speakers. So I've had this laptop for a couple of days already and mm -hmm. I've tested out the battery when it's plugged and unplugged. I tested out in 100% unplugged and I was just um, listening to music and it lasted me about roughly 50 minutes which is for a gaming laptop, I would say it's all right. Mm -hmm. As well as you know, having that slim feature, you are expending battery life for the lighter version of the mm -hmm. laptop. In terms of gaming, my experience for battery life when it's unplugged, 30 to 35 minutes uh, max. The RGB keyboard was actually lit at the whole time. Even if it is like just only like 30 to 35 minutes, you get the full experience of the laptop even at that kind of time. Yes. In terms of the performance quality, I did test out Overwatch as my game. I did set it again to the highest settings, which is Epic. I was able to get myself a smooth 70 to 80 FPS and that's with all of animations of explosions, arrows flying in my way. It didn't stutter which actually helped me, you know, survive the matches. <laughs> Aside from that, the cooling system itself does allow the laptop to heat up that quickly so it actually adds up to the FPS not dropping at all. But sometimes you look at the graphics, right? Mm. And that 4K immersion um, really helps me like look wow this game is overwatch and that quality is just outstanding How much does the MSI GS60 Ghost Pro cost? 134,995 pesos Yes, so now that concludes the review as well as the price of the MSI laptop mm -hmm. And again, I am Asrai from Mineski TV and alongside here with me is Eason and we are signing off